All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the uh, Freedom Office. And as of late, I've been really concentrating on competition, shooting, zeroing stuff in, shotguns, losing their optics, things of that nature, all the fun stuff that we do in life. A gentleman asked me to do a video on what it takes to prepare for one of these things. And I'll tell you this, I don't stay in a hotel room. I camp out. So there's a little bit more involved in what I do. But just to get the stuff ready, it's, it's, it's a pretty neat little trick. This time around, though, after you shoot about three or four of these things, you get your stuff in order, and sometimes you don't unpack the car, so it's a little easier to go the next time around. So anyway, with that, uh, I just wanted to give that a little rest. Now, I haven't been able to give a whole lot of uh, attention to our 2A news, which really and truly pays the bills, uh, but I will tell you this, man. We're going to jump on it hard and heavy. I really enjoy this new view I have right here because I'm kind of able to relax. So with that, we had some, uh, some things happen this last weekend. Uh, one country invaded another and uh, regardless of what your thoughts are on that one I just wanted to talk about a couple things that really pissed me off okay uh, there are some idiots in this country absolutely nutcases who believe that it was that one country's fault that it got invaded in other words uh yeah there, there are people in this country who actually believe that it was israelis fault that they were invaded and I, I think these are the same people who uh think there are 84 different genders there's the same people who think there's a thing called no cash bail is a wonderful thing uh and also uh defund the police those are the same assholes i'm excuse my french idiots don't get me started ladies and gentlemen i'm really ticked off about the way things have been done another thing that's really pissed me off is that our country has gone from being the leader to the appeaser. And I think if you agree, you probably do agree with me. If you're watching my channel, you do agree. Uh, le from leader to appeaser. That's going to be the title of this video. Because this jackass is in charge is over there throwing money at Iran while they are sitting around de chanting death to America. Oh, I guess if we give them money, they'll stop doing that. No, these people will never stop doing that. And as far as I'm concerned... A glass parking lot is a good thing. So here's what I'm saying. Hell hath no fury like a pissed off Israeli. Now, I don't give a shit if you believe in or you have something against people like that, whatever. I don't care. But what I am saying here is that when you got people over there who are going after civilians, raping the women, killing and beheading soldiers, man, let me tell you something. That's that's grounds for kicking ass and taking names. And so and, and here's another thing. The assholes in this world are like you don't know. <laughs> that's it. Who's that Bautista guy? The big asshole who sits there and has movies with him holding a gun and says no one should ever own an AR-15. It's just it's not against the eight, Second Amendment. Go. Yeah, no, 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 no. Here's a here's a prime example of why you, me, we had the Second Amendment and Israelis didn't. And what happened was there's strict gun laws. You had to prove that you had a need for a firearm. You had to do a lot of jumping through hoops. Sounds like Illinois. Sounds like New York. Sounds like New Jersey, Maryland, California. Did I miss a few? Probably. But here's the reason why we have the Second Amendment. Not only is it to, oh, I don't know, kick somebody's ass out of office that uh, becomes a tyrant, uh, it starts breaking our constitutional laws and people who think they are above our constitutional laws, but also because behind, and this is a, uh, I'm not going to say it behind every grass because that really wasn't said, but it's in, it is what people believe. If someone comes in to like, oh, I'd say, let's just say the Canadians decide they want to come in and rape our women and steal our stuff. Well, let me just say this. We can shoot them. We can defend ourselves, and that's what the Second Amendment is there for, so we can defend ourselves from foreign and domestic. Okay, right now we're being invaded on our southern borders by everybody and their mother because, you know, hey, listen, the border's secure. Yes, it is. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below on that one. But I just had to get my two cents in, man, because we're really, really getting pissed off because now Hezbollah from uh, Lebanon's coming across the border over there. And it won't be long before we're going to have an all-out war in the Middle East. All because some jackass, literally some jackass, decides that, oh, we need to be, you know, appeasing these individuals. And for those guys out there flying the rainbow flag that think and support this bullshit with Hezbollah and Hamas, they'd assume just throw your happy ass off the roof and kill you, hang you, chop your head off. So you go ahead and continue your support. <sighs> It's KB32. I'm getting pretty pissed off at the world right now, and I'm glad I'm armed.
to the hilt. Yes. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Hammer to Don't Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. And this is why we have our Second Amendment. Try that shit over here. And I hate it for the people who are hauled off right there and had it on video. It's disgusting. And the individuals out there to pull this shit, you're disgusting. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.